Allen Iverson is the Tupac of basketball. Hands down. I'm going to drop these periodically um, comparing rappers to hoopers. We can debate them. You might even be able to change my mind. You're not changing my mind on this. These were my guys, so you're not. it's not happening. First of all, Tupac is known for the headgear with the bandana. It's just faint. Like, you see Tupac, you're going to see him with a bandana. You see Allen Iverson, you're going to see a headband. You might see two on at once. Either way, they both known for the headgear. Both of them don't care what the media thinks. Tupac will spit on you. He will spit on your shirt, your, your, your camera. He really doesn't care. And Allen Iverson will look at you crazy just like in practice and talk crazy back to you just like you talk to him. And to some degree, they both wanted to be each other. I mean, Tupac would be seen with jerseys on. He's got a Duke jersey on here. He has an NBA Shaquille jersey. So you know he liked hoops. And then you see Iverson dropped the album, tried to be a rapper with the chain on and everything. And then he was rapping in uh, one of his videos, one of his commercials um, with Jada Kiss. Shout out to the locks. They killed Dipset. And look at their foes. Iverson had to go against a bigger, darker Shaquille O'Neal. Tupac went against a bigger, darker Biggie Smalls. And you know they both like light-skinned girls. I mean, you see Tupac over here with, you know, with uh, Faith Evans, light-skinned, you know, and Iverson's known to be with Tawana, light-skinned. They're kind of similar. So they like similar kind of females. It looked like Iverson's known for the only the strong survive tattoo on his shoulder and Tupac's known for thug life tatted on his chest. So tattoos is a similarity. But the main reason Tupac and Iverson are the same people is because of what's on their sleeve. Now, Allen Iverson's known for the shooting sleeve, but that's not what I'm talking about. Both of them represented with their heart on their sleeve. Both of them gave you their heart and their raw emotions. Iverson played with nothing but heart all on the floor. It wasn't all a lot of strategy, but he was going all out and was very successful by following his heart. Tupac came out with Dear Mama, Brenda's Got a Baby. Tupac even has songs, you know, lyrically I don't agree with, but it was from his heart. Like, he meant what he said. If you'd like to hear more basketball content from me, you can check out my channel, Biblical Basketball. Um, it's on YouTube, Facebook, uh, and Instagram. Also, check out Bars to Chains. Um, they also have great um, content concerning music and basketball as well and other sports. Holla.